Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about graphing slope-intercept form. You can get the graphing slope-intercept form worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. This video is about graphing slope-intercept form. This means that all of our equations are written in y equals mx plus b form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So if we look at our equation, we already know the slope and we already know the y-intercept. So in order to identify them, you only have to look at the location of the terms in the equation. So we know that slope has to be attached to the x. It's the coefficient of the x. So we know that our slope is going to be this negative 2. So our m is negative 2. And then we also know that the y-intercept is the constant at the end or the beginning of the equation. In this case, it's at the end. So we know our b is also negative 2. Now you will remember that slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. Our slope is negative 2, and in order to understand the rise over the run, you have to remember that all whole numbers are written over 1. So all whole numbers really have this 1 under them, even though we don't always write it. So in terms of slope, if the slope is negative 2, that means this top part is our rise, and this bottom part is the run, because we know that the slope is the rise divided by the run. So in the case of this example, like I said, our rise is negative 2 and our run is 1. What this means is when we move from one point to the next, we're going to go down 2 because it's negative and then write 1 because this 1 is positive. So when we graph our line, we're going to start at our y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is negative 2 and that's where it crosses the y-axis. So we're going to put our first point right here at negative 2. So we'll go to the origin, and then we'll go down to negative 2, and that will be our y-intercept. Now in order to find the next point, we know that the slope is also negative 2. And what that means is we will go down 2 and over 1 each time we move. So we'll start at this point. We're going to go down 2 spaces. So here's one space, and then here's two spaces, and then over one. So we'll go over to here, right here. So that's going to be our next point, right there. Then we're going to repeat. So we'll go down two, and then over one. And our next point will be right here, and so on. So our next point. In order to get our line, all we have to do is connect the points. We're going to start up here and we will go down and connect all these points together. And this is going to be the graph of our equation. Moving on to the second problem for graphing slope intercept form, our equation is y equals 1 half x minus 5. We know that our equation is already written in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And we know that m is the slope, and we know that b is the y-intercept. So in order to graph this, we need to first identify the slope, and also we have to identify the y-intercept. So slope will be the coefficient on the x. In this case, our slope is 1 fourth, because that's the coefficient on the x. So we know that m is 1 fourth. And then our y-intercept will be the constant that is not attached to the x. In this case, it's negative 5. So our y-intercept will be negative 5. Now we know that slope is the rise divided by the run, so we already have our slope, which is 1 fourth. So we know that 1 is the rise, and we know that 4 is the run. 1 is positive, so we will go up 1, because that's the rise, and then the run is positive 4, which means it will move to the right 4. In order to graph this, we will start at our y-intercept. So our y-intercept right here is negative 5. So we will go to the y-axis, and we will go down to negative 5, which is right here. Then we're going to use our slope 
to find the next point. So our slope tells us we go up 1 and over 4 to get to the next point. So we will start at our y-intercept and we will go up 1 and then over 4. And that's going to be our next point right here. Then we're going to do it again. We will go up 1 and then over 4 again. And that's going to be our next point. Then in order to graph our equation, you just connect the dots. So we go here, connect in the dots, and then you can sort of go in this direction as well. And that's going to be the graph of this equation in slope-intercept form. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.